Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi and in this video we are, we are going to learn how to create an accounting calendar. Overview of accounting calendar. The accounting calendar defines the start and end of your physical year and the time period in that calendar, including the exact date for each time period. Your sales application uses this defined period often called enterprise period. Uses of accounting calendar. First one, reports that provide amount by enterprise period, such as a sales pipeline analysis. Second one is matrix calculation by period for dietary analysis. Third one is the ability to adjust forecast amount by time period. And the last but not the least, distribution of quota amount by the time period. Let's move on to the application to create an accounting calendar. Move on to the setting and action menu, click on that. In administration part, click on setup and maintenance. In setup part, click on drop down menu and select cells. In functional area, company profile is automatically selected. In tax area, click on manage accounting calendar. To create an accounting calendar, click on create button. This plus sign over here, click on that. Let's enter the name of the calendar. Start date. Let's select the start date, 1st of Jan. In period frequency, select the shortest time period you want to use for period reports and activity. For Vision Corporation, we choose default value monthly. User defined prefix, BISP. Format. We can enter the information as per the required in the format, but Better to go with the default value, no need to change it. Budgetary control only. If you want to enable this budgetary control in this uh, calendar, then enable this checkbox. But right now, I don't want to enable it. In adjusting period frequency, we move with the defaults value. Click on next. Here we can see that accounting calendar is created. Click on save and close. Here you can see that PISP calendar account calendar is created. Now, if you want to generate the periods for each additional year, including the current year or upcoming year, then what will we do? Then open the calendar, which we created recently. Click on add year. Here we can see that the next year is added to the accounting calendar. Click on save and close. This is how we can create a counting calendar. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.